Uh, today we're going to take a look at using the distance formula to help uh, prove that this is in fact a rectangle. So we're going to use this distance formula to figure out that our opposite sides are going to be congruent to each other. They're going to be the same. But that doesn't tell us everything. That's just going to tell us that we have a parallelogram, a four-sided figure. We need to do it two more times, and we're going to actually do it to our diagonals. If our diagonals come back that that distance is the same, yes, in fact, we have a rectangle. So let's start finding our distances. Well, first off, distance formula. What do we got going on there? It's going to be the square root. We're going to say x2 minus x1, square it, plus y2 minus y1, and square it. Okay, let's plug some numbers in. Let's find what AB is going to be. So we're going to say our x is. Um, 1 minus negative 5, square it, and then our y's. Negative 1 minus 3, square it. What do we get there? Uh, 1 plus 5 gives us 6. 6 squared ends up being 36. Over here we have negative 4, but negative 4 squared is going to give us 4 and 4, 16. And then when we put those two things together, we get 40, 52. Okay, so we know that up here we get square root 52. Let's try CD. On the bottom there, we're going to do the same thing. Square root, we're going to say negative 1 minus negative 7 squared plus negative 4 minus 0 squared. Leaving us with, that's a plus, 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 squared is 36, so far looking good. Um, this is just negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. And that's good. We also have the same thing. All right, we need to keep going. So our two smaller sides, let's get rid of some of this. Our two smaller sides. Uh, let's look at AD. Um, our x's. I'm going to say negative 5 minus negative 7. Square it. Plus, we started with negative 5. Let's start with 3. 3 minus 0. And then square that. Turns to a plus sign. We have 7 minus 5, which is 2. 2 squared gives us 4. We over here, second parenthesis, is just 3. 3 squared is 9. Leaving us with square root of 13. That's good. All right, and last side. Uh, let's go one minus one minus negative one, square it, plus negative one minus negative four, square it. Minus minus turns to a plus. One plus one is two. Two squared is four. Plus. 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9, and look at that, those are the same. So I would love to just stop right here, but we cannot. We just found that we have a parallelogram. Parallel, a parallelogram is kind of like the overarching kind of term that we've got going on here. A rectangle is a more specified version of that. So in order to figure that one out, we have to do the distance formula two more times, and this time we have to do it to the diagonals. So we're looking at AC and DB. We're trying to figure out where those two things meet. So AB, or AC, one more time. We have X's, negative five minus negative one, square it, plus my y's. We started up here. 3 minus negative 4. Square it. Giving us, let's see, plus, plus. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Square it, you get 16. Plus 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 squared is 49. Leaving us with square root of 65. Okay. Can we do it one more time? I think so. So we just did AC. Let's do BD. Uh, 
x is negative 7 minus 1. Square it. And let's do our y's. 0 minus negative 1. Square it. Turns to a plus. Negative 7, negative 1 is negative 8. Square root negative 8. You're going to get 64. On the other side, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. And we are left with square root of 65. Opposite sides are the same. They're congruent. Our diagonals are the same. They're congruent. So because of sides and diagonals, we just proved, yes, in fact, we do have a rectangle there.